Hello and welcome to Quintel Designs HD video tutorial series. I'm your host Ryan Quintel, owner and webmaster of Quintel Designs, and today we're going to be tackling a simple film strip in Adobe Illustrator. This can be used for a media website or even an icon um, to represent a media section, movie section, anything you really want. Uh, let's hop into Illustrator and get started. So in Adobe Illustrator, um, we're going to create a new print document, and let's just use some default settings here. We'll print is the document profile, and landscape mode, and we'll call it film strip. We're not going to be moving too exact as far as the film strip. No reference image needed. If you know what a negative strip looks like, that's going to make things a lot easier for you. So, let's jump right in. What we're going to make really is a series of rectangles, and that should be pretty simple. We'll, we're going to use almost exclusively the rectangle tool. So, let's select it and get started. With your rectangle tool selected in Illustrator, let's create a big box. Perfect. And so you can see it. We'll color it black here. And remove the stroke. That's important. This tutorial assumes you do have a basic level understanding of all of Illustrator's tools. If you don't, there's plenty of websites that'll give you reference, and the Adobe help file should help too, as well as playing around. Inside our black box, we're going to make some red rectangles. The reason we're going to use red is basically to show where our path will be overlapping. Select color and red. So you see here, nothing too fancy. Maybe make it a bit bigger. Perfect. Hold down Alt on your keyboard and drag this box to the left and to the right. So now we have three red rectangles in our original black rectangle. Now we're going to use the align palette to align all of these and get them straightened out. So select everything with control A. In your align palette at the top toolbar, make sure everything's aligned to artboard. And we're going to do two types of align here. We're going to horizontal align and vertical align. Click on both and get everything aligned. Now, hold down shift on your keyboard and unselect the black rectangle, and we're going to distribute the red rectangles. So let's choose horizontal distribute center. And you see here it spreads them out the width of the canvas. They're a little overlapping, so you may have to drag them out, hold down shift and drag them. And kind of space them so that they're spaced appropriately. I think that should do it. And you should have something that looks like this by now. Now we're going to view the Pathfinder. The Pathfinder is going to do some magic work for us. The reason why we have these rectangles as red is we can see where they're leaving the black shape and where they're kind of cutting off and the, the edge of the document. Select everything with Control A and if you don't have your Pathfinder open, go to Window and choose Pathfinder. It pops right up. We're going to use two Pathfinder commands. We'll use Divide, which cookie cutters everything. And what that cookie cutter allows us to do is take this white arrow, our Direct Select, and just click on each end and hit Delete. They'll go away. And we're going to use Divide again making our small rectangles. So we have one small rectangle here. And you want to position this one fairly accurately to the end result. So a little smaller and up. This time we're going to take this, hold down Alt and Shift, and drag the second one all the way over to the right side. So our, our tiny little film holes on the top and bottom we want all the way to the left and all the way to the right. This is going to establish where these holes start and stop. We're going to use the Blend tool to fill them in. So select the Blend tool in the Tools palette and double click it. Here we're going to use Specified Steps instead of Smooth Color. And let's choose 15. Hit OK. 
At this point, click the left small red rectangle, drag it over to the right, let go, and nothing really happened here, but we have to end the blend, so click and hold on the right, and drag over to the left. And there we go, Illustrator filled in all the gaps for us. Now you'll notice there's a blue line through all these rectangles. That's because they're just an effect. They don't actually exist in Illustrator. So in order to make sure that they become objects, we're going to have to expand them. Go to the Object menu at the top and select Expand. Object and Fill, both should be checked off and hit OK. And voila, we have ourselves the boxes, or our film holes, if you will. Now these holes are actually for gripping the negative when it runs through the reel, so there's a little fun background for you, I guess. Let's select all of our red boxes now. They're all grouped together. Hold down Alt. Our cursor changes. We're duplicating. And Shift. And when we click and drag, you see you want to start moving with Alt first, then hold down Shift, and it stays in a straight line. Bring these down to the bottom.